I collect souvenir buildings. I buy them online, I buy them at flea markets, I buy them at antique stores, I buy them at souvenir stores. I know pretty much everything I have and I know what I want. And there are buildings out there that I don't even know exist and I want those too, I just don't know them yet. Uh, this piece is a fortress on the top of a mountain in Bouillon, Belgium. I bought it at a flea market in Europe. I just like it because it's, uh, it's dated, number one, so I know, and it's got a plaque on it, tells me where it's from, what it was made for. I like the size, um, the fact that it's a, I like, I like buildings when they tend to be more of a complex or a cityscape, or like I mentioned, a factory before. And it's a piece that just sold on eBay for about $1,000 and I paid 14. That always makes it appealing. Everybody's reaction is different. Um, some people are, most people are impressed in some way, but uh, some people really look at them all and have questions and other people just kind of walk in and say, oh, this is neat and then move on. There are probably easily a thousand to two thousand pieces that I know exist that I don't have. So yes, I want all of those. Um, are there pieces, there are pieces that I look for. Um, there's a uh, television tower in Johannesburg, South Africa I don't have. My collection, unlike maybe some other collectors, is very strong in European pieces and it's pretty weak in American pieces, so there's a lot of American pieces that I want. What's in your collection?